guys. Welcome to our Saturday Night Live. We go live every Saturday at 8.30 Mountain Time and we show you our thrift hauls and we paint some stuff and we talk about business. So if you haven't subscribed, hit that soda, so, the notification notification button. If you haven't subscribed, give us a subscription. Oh, I can't even talk. Go ahead, you tell them. Just hit the notification button, it's pretty easy. And subscribe. <laughs> there we go, I got it out. Sorry, these new braces that I put in this week are causing some major lisp action. So They're I'm... tightening you down. True story, I'm gonna pull up. So we were at my sister's wedding down in Cedar today and we did our thrifting down there. We always love trying to find new stuff when we're in different towns, different locations across the country. And we did well today down in Cedar City, Utah. For sure, and we also had a few awesome followers and customers that dropped off some stuff yeah. um, for free at our shop. So we're going to show you that and give a little shout out and thanks to them. So we're excited. And we have the JRV Christmas stencils are up on the website. Yeah. And our retailers have been able to order them. If Caitlin's on, she can drop the retailer link. So if you are not local to us and you don't want to order on our website, you can pick them up from our retailers. So Caitlin will drop that link in there, and when we're not live, Zeb will have the link in the video. Yes, the link will be in the video, because I remember to put those in there every time. Yeah, Zeb and I woke up at 3.30 this morning, so that way we could make a three-hour drive and make it down by 7.30 uh, to, to Cedar. Cedar City for his sister's wedding. And we went to the wedding, and then we went to the luncheon. We did uh, pipe out early and miss the reception, but everybody that we knew was at the luncheon. So we did that, we came home, we took a little nap, and now we're here. So we're yeah. excited. It's like a mini family reunion. <laughs> All right, thrift store haul, the mega pick. We got a lot of stuff to get through, so let's do this. T. Mackey says, does anybody miss us at our kitchen island? Change is hard. We might, we might, we almost tried to do the kitchen island tonight because well, we're like- All my supplies are here. We're, yeah, we are like, wow, we're tired. We don't want to set all this stuff up at the shop and go over there. But everything is here to do the stenciling and stuff. So we're like, yep, we're going. So here we are. But maybe we'll start doing it from the new kitchen when the farmhouse is done. So I was in the wood section at the thrift store. They have it kind of sectioned off in different places, like dishes and stuff like that. And this little wood spool was down there. It's got a black top, still wood though. It's just painted. And then the top wood piece here, but thought it was pretty cool. It's kind of bigger than your normal spool would How be. How much was that? We only paid 50 cents for this. Oh nice, here, let me see, and it's not like a repop. It says, property of... Yeah, it still has like um, string hanging off of it over here. I can't read it, because it looks like it's been stamped a few times, but it's property of something. Now it's property of Jane Ray. All right, so we've got... Oh, we gotta tell them what we sell for. So this is sell for about three ninety five. Yeah, it's not gonna be super expensive, just a fun little accent piece. We might, we're not going to paint that, are we? Oh no, I like that as is. So, little, uh, little milk jug, I don't know, maybe for cream? No, it's for I don't decor. Know what you, oh, for decor only. I'm probably not going to paint that, I think it's cute the way it is. It was well, a dollar. we have some other, like, brown, I don't even know what color this is. It's we have some like similar crockler, items. Like stoneware? Yeah. It was a dollar and I would sell it for like three or four ninety five. It needs a serious scrub, it looks like it's been on someone's shelf. So we'll get all the grease off and things, you know. Yep. Found a muddler. I always pick these up when I find them. A, because they're not common, because less and less people are canning and using stuff like this. And I just think they're cool looking. So this was $1.50. It'll go in with the rolling pins. We won't paint it. We'll leave it all natural wood with these. And they usually sell for what, like $11.95? Is that what we got rolling um, pins at? $10.95. So and actually, then, those actually I sell for like eight ninety five, ten ninety five yeah. for rolling pins because it's kind of smaller. They're short, but it's a good profit margin. You know, a dollar fifty to eight ninety five, and all I'm gonna do is wipe it with a disinfecting wipe. Well, it's pretty dried out. It probably needs real oil. Oh yeah, we'll, we'll we'll use some food safe oil on it. Yeah, food safe mineral oil. So this said on the ticket here, it says dollar fifty each. I could not find any of its friends. So we have one brass candlestick, but we already have some mismatched candlesticks, and I actually think they look pretty cool mismatched. They do, and I actually feel like the more the merrier in my brass candlestick display, and how much did you pay for that? This is $1.50. So they sell for about $4.95 at the shop, the little ones. That might be more like a $5.95, or I need to like show 
see what how it is next yeah. year. Yeah, and it's got some staining and stuff from candle wax, but that's we like. Yeah, it like we that. just wash and go, baby, wash and go. So I have been trying to get Jamie to pick these up for ages because I think they'd be really cool painted. I don't know if we're painting these because we see salt and pepper shakers with the, the pepper mills all the time at the thrift store, but she really liked this set here and picked it up. So I'm excited. Maybe we'll start down a new avenue of salt shakers. Well, if we paint them, you'd have to take the top off because you don't want to get paint on the top because that would be weird. I think I can press that out. I think it's probably just... This one's probably just screwed in on the pepper mill, and then this one's just pressed in. Okay. And then they were $2, and I will clean them up and paint them and sell them for probably $12.95 to $14.95 for the pair. For the pair. This one's got all its parts. If I were to leave them as is, I would probably just sell for like $9.95. So, yeah. Not a huge mark but for painting, but there's not a lot of surface area here, so they won't take long. All right. All right. This is just a bowl. It's not anything special just today's home dishwasher safe but it goes with all of our blue dishes that if you've been following along we got a bunch of like white and blue and what's that cobalt blue it looks I like stoneware remember. stoneware um, there you go yeah i think we paid like a dollar for it and i'm probably so i sell bowls like this for like 3.95 in the store yeah they're not expensive i had that lemon bowl that people said was from the dollar store people still bought it because i don't think the dollar store carried that one anymore mm -hmm. so i just buy things that i like the pattern and this is just an old flour sifter. That's still functional. A little rusty, which oh, it's vintage. You know, all the better. Dollar it was oh just a dollar. I thought it was dollar fifty. Just yeah. a dollar. Probably like six ninety five, so not a high dollar item, but definitely something that would look cute in my little kitchen -y area over there. I've got a bunch of kitchen. Yeah, I'll stuff. I'll pan you over so you can see what we're talking about. Yeah, we have an area. I kinda have like a kitchen area that we have all the shelves. Oh, super chat. Thanks, Sally Bonkle, 1999. Ooh, thank you. Woo -woo. All right, we're moving, we're moving, pan over, there it is. So over in that display, we like to keep it kind of blue and white and clear glass. Yep. So, and we have a video, like with that kind of, as the main focal point of the video, yeah, so. so. you can see how we like set that up and we painted them on live, so. All right, so what did we ever do with the butter dish? So I decided against selling it on eBay. I looked up going to replacements.com for the butter dish. So if you want to grab it in case they don't know what I'm talking about. Yep. Um, and replacements does sell them for 100 but they didn't want to give me very much for it. And so I decided that rather than give it to them for a low price or deal with selling it on eBay, which is not my jam, we just marked it at $29.95, which I feel like is an amazing deal. And, I thought uh, she had the detail. I'm losing my voice. Um, and we're going to sell it in the shop. All right, let's see and if we can we get this to not shine super bad. There you go. There we are. There's some of the detail. So that's what we do with the butter dish. That's from like last week, was it? Yeah. Last week's thrift haul. Kathy asked a question about the house renovation. Yes, we did find knob and tube all over in that house. It was everywhere, rampant, super bad. We ripped it all out. We don't want to talk about knob and tube. Kathleen says she loves my longer bangs. I hate to tell you guys, I think the bangs are coming back, the shorter ones. I don't know, I haven't decided. I'm getting my hair cut in like two weeks because it hasn't, my hair, except for my bangs, my hair hasn't been cut in over six months. And since we're going to France, I decided I should probably get a haircut. So I haven't decided if I'm gonna cut the bangs short or maybe just trim them up and keep them side swept. We'll see. So we always, we like to get the little birds when we can because they're fun and our logo is a bird and they look great in our shop painted in apothecary or white. Yeah, we either paint apothecary or white swan and a bird like that. How much did we pay for it? So there's, it's fly season here. In Man, the I tell you what, I don't know if in your guys area when it, the weather cools off if the flies move inside like in droves, but it's a serious issue here in We Utah. have farms not too far off, so that's also part yeah. of it. And we have fly strips, but they're in the back. Yeah. So how much did we pay for that? Maybe. This was 75 cents. Yeah. And so that would sell for about $3.95 painted. And it literally like when I paint stuff, especially if I'm painting apothecary or white swan, I have a spray booth set up in the basement and I will like line it all up, spray one side, flip them all around, spray the other side and done. I do not hand brush all of these things because it would, while it would still work, it would not be time effective. I only hand brush things if they're going in colors that I don't use a lot of. And we'll talk about that in a little bit. So yeah, hey Jessica, first first chat as a member. That's fun. All right, so we picked up these cow heads. They're they they got little things that we can poke in there. 
but you got little for hanging them. Me for hanging them. Screws. There you go. <laughs> Guys, just so you know, I'm on like, I did get a little nap after we got home, but still like all total, I'm on about five hours of sleep today. So <laughs> watch out. It they could get interesting. Easy. It could get interesting. So apparently they used to make these like vintage ones. These are not because this is like made in Taiwan, but they were really popular. Um, that one was two dollars, and this one was a dollar fifty. Um, they're really popular in farmhouse decor. It's got these weird eyes. Some well, be glued on. I don't know if they're glued on. They're poked in from the back. So oh, so okay. way in here. What do you think about those eyes? Well, should they're we... poked in from the back, so they're not coming off. Should we keep those eyes? Yeah, we are, because they're poked in from the back. There'll be a hole. This one doesn't have eyes. It's just got part of the, the mold. So they're gonna sell for probably like $14.95 and $10.95. Is that the Z one because he's bigger? I guess, I don't know. I don't, I, I, I don't even know like why I lined up, but I, I made him kiss just now. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Let's just move on. All right, no eyes, scary eyes, paint over there. We're not actually gonna paint these. I know that some people might not like the eyes, but this is how they are sold. One of our favorite things to find at thrift stores is Star Wars stuff. Paraphernalia. And we always pick it up. We do not sell it in the shop. We keep this for ourselves at 75 cents. I feel like I saved about $15 because normally this stuff's not cheap. And Jack is super excited. So that's going home with us. Yeah. So that was not a, I'm going to sell it. That was just oh, savings. Do we want to finish going through this side before we go over there? I'm just going to show okay. them this cat because we've got the yeah. painted dogs. We're going to, we're going to try out. We found a cat. So we're going to try out the painted cat. Oh, Taiwan is vintage. Sally said, that's why it has the eyes in it. Oh yeah. That's what I thought. And this one, I had one before that had a crack, but this one doesn't have anything glued. So I might even paint this apothecary tonight and see what it looks like with the dogs. What? The blue eyes are kind of creepy. No, she's me out going pink. Pink? Why? Why? This is a kitty cat. Come pink on, can, cat. We, can we keep it the apothecary thing? No, we already have apothecary dogs. <laughs> we're going to have a pink cat and we're going to put it in the other room. It's already kind of pinkish, so that'll be easy to get. Yeah, cover. I thought it'd be good. I'm going to paint Petticoat pink and probably white wax. That'll probably be better, though, than green. The cat is adorable. I know. I thought the cat face was too cute. It's and she's got her tongue out. sticking out. Or his tongue. I don't know. I don't know what the cat's name is. We haven't decided its, it's name in life. All right, so we got this. This is vintage. Or? This needs some tightening up. It's definitely vintage. This is some sort of stone that's been carved. A little mirror. And it's got a little, a little mirror. Cute. Oops. It all needs tightened up. Can but you tighten that? Up? Yeah, I can. So it has a price tag on it for six dollars. Somebody must have tried to sell it and it didn't sell. And we paid a dollar fifty. And I think this little um, mirror is probably worth at least eight ninety five to nine ninety five for this little. Yeah, and I'll be able to tighten up. It looks like they were just trying to sell it as is. It's got like this plasticky sticker thing over here. I may try to get that off. No, I think that's probably original, sweetie. Oh, you think that is? Yeah. Man, the lighting in here is tough tonight with the white stuff. Hard to show the detail. Jenny says, I both had you cut your veins because you have to keep having to get them out of my face. The problem is if I cut them, inevitably they'll grow and they'll always be in my eyes. So we will see. I usually pin them out of my face. All right, let's see. Um, I don't care either, either way. I'm Switzerland on bangs. Switzerland on bangs. That's just not something cut. husbands should be given opinions on, I think. Oh, D Diana Dollar says, I always pick up Star Wars, Disney, and Peanuts. They always sell for my booth. Fun. No, we would sell them too, except for we like them. Yeah, we keep them. Look at that. It's already tightened up, and I didn't even have to use the screwdriver. I just used its oh, own friction. You are amazing. No more, no more wobble all over the you place. You fix that with your little fingers. Oh, it's one of the big mirrors that like blows your face up. No, that's my regular face. That's regular size? That's your face. No, it feels bigger. Either that or I'm all puffy tonight. Poofy. Okay, this is cool. This is probably a candy dish or something. On I don't know. I just like table. all this cut glass, right? I don't know. I know, it's cool. I don't know enough about like glass stuff. I thought it was pretty and I love all the detail and the cut part of it and the little knob on top is cute. Did you show them the little knob? Yeah. So I, I don't know. I feel like we got a really good deal on it. Yeah. I'm not going to say the price just yet. Weigh in. How much do you think we paid for this? They know that we're cheap. It was probably like three bucks. Shh. How much was it? Shh. Wait for it. I just... Oh. How okay. much do you think we paid for this? We'll give you a minute and we'll I come back to it. I don't remember what I paid for. I know, I'm gonna hide the sticker. How much are you gonna sell it for? Uh, probably like $14.95. Okay, all right. We'll see how well 
how educated our viewers are. All right. Well. They I said three dollars, two twenty-five, four dollars, four ninety-five, two dollars, two ninety-nine. We'll give them a couple, a couple more. Dollar uh... ninety-nine, dollar fifty. Jenny says uh, three dollars. You guys Heather are good. You're four. pretty close. Kathleen says a dollar ninety-nine. Let's see. Uh, Ag Agnes says two seventy-five. Susan says two ninety-five, and Kelly says two fifty, and then they said seventy-five cents. Whew. So all right, I'm gonna go ahead and say it. It was $2. Oh, I was wrong. I bought it and I didn't even know how much it was. So $2, all the pieces are here and it's in really it's good really shape. It's really heavy too. We'll clean it up and it's not like super heavy. It's not leaded glass. I had like actually that. thought about painting it, but what? I like the way it is. It's cut really good. If, cool. if, you, if you painted that and wet distressed it, all that detail would be beautiful. Yeah, it might come out. But I don't know that I would sell it for any more and I do like myself some clear glass. Well, I'm gonna look it over on your shelf. It will. And if we did paint this, we would use probably milk paint? No. You think? I, could use I think chicken milk paint would look good. But um, we sold that last dish that was twelve ninety five. Oh, welcome to member, member Christy Groupie. Thanks, Christy. Make sure you're hitting up the community tab because now that you're a channel member, you will see posts that are for members only and there are links on there to our latest videos, including our behind the scenes shop um, video for members only. On that note, I have not forgotten about the chapter that we promised you, and we're gonna go live another time here, so we'll get one more video for members this we month. We'll get it before the end of the month, and then next month we'll be... We'll be back on track, I hope. <laughs> or slightly late, but we'll get it, we promise you. Yeah, right. so I haven't forgot about that. We're working on the chapter, we're gonna get it out here shortly. All right, baskets, two of them. They're $3 each. Yeah. And that size is gonna sell for about twelve ninety five. I think this was originally designed, you know how like you have the waste baskets for like a bathroom or a small like office next to a desk. I think that's what this might have been, but it's just a basket now, so it says a crazy lamp lady could tell us exactly what kind of glass that is. Yeah, I don't worry about it that much. I bet she could. <laughs> I bet she could. All right. Um yeah, so twelve ninety five. Um, we paid three dollars each, so boom. I'm and passing you all the stuff. Super cute farmhouse I've style. Gone over. I know. Zeb, I don't think Zeb has figured out like my method to basket purchasing yet, because I feel like he sometimes is like, "You want this? No? Oh, okay, go ahead." No. No, no you're already excited about that. Oh, well, I was just pointing with it. <laughs> I have not figured out the basket method. Except for laundry. I put all the laundry in the basket and leave it there until I wear it. That's a different basket method. I'm just saying I don't <laughs> think that you know like what I'm going to buy and what I'm not going to buy. And I don't really even know. Sometimes it just depends what's in the shop. Yeah. All right. Now tell them about your square. So anytime I find tools for super cheap, like 75 cents, I pick them up. Because this little square, probably not super expensive down at the hardware store, but you could pay anywhere from like probably about 10 to $15 for a good metal square. And this is still in good shape, not bent or anything like that. And I don't have one this size, so you know, I gotta have it for 75 cents. Why not? And half the time you can't find some of your tools anyway, so it works out. They're well. all they're all over between the shop, the house, and the the farmhouse renovation. They are everywhere right now. <laughs> yeah, his tools are everywhere, but that's okay, you're cute. Alright. <laughs> next. Okay. We have so, these tins, might have come from the same place as that little sign. Yeah, same sign. tag and handwriting. Yeah. It said $8 for the pair, which I would probably sell these for about, I don't know, $5.95 each. And they were $1.50 each, Third. coffee and tea. There would have been a normally, a, usually a set for four, I think. Yeah. But they only have the two. We looked everywhere to find the other two and we couldn't find them. Oh, welcome new member, Nicola Fiore. Thank you for joining our channel membership. I think they are a little older. They've got some wear on them and they're stamped garner wear made in USA. Most of this stuff, let's be honest, it's not made in the USA anymore, guys. Where was it made at? In the USA. Oh, yeah, it's definitely vintage. Um, Kathy, you did not miss the new stencils. We're about halfway through our haul, so not to fear. Okay, now I got this cutting board. It's oak. It's Jamie was worried that it's, yeah, it's got a little bit of fire <laughs> on it. But it had these fun little rubber feet that are definitely older. And we're going to clean that up. We will sand this really, really well. And then I will hit it with some Dawn dish soap and, and uh, we'll reseal it and maybe get the fire burn off, maybe not. I have not decided yet. But it's got the little feet on there and I like it. And the split 
is not catastrophic. This thing's not coming apart, so it's just cosmetic. It's got really great weather and patina, so cleaned up just a little bit. Somebody could either use it or just have it in their um, house for decor just to raise up stuff. It was a dollar fifty. Like setting stuff yeah. on this is gonna. I mean, you may not even want to use it as a cutting board, but we'll get it back to that condition because it is a cutting board. Yeah, and about twelve ninety five is what this will sell for, and it's got like you can't really tell on camera. It's got some really gorgeous pitting and craters in it just from age and I love that. So. Yeah. All right, huge rooster. Jamie found this out in the yard area. It was $15. Well, this might be a hen. It might not be a rooster. We'll go with hen. But look at this cute little metal corbel part and like the base. I feel like it's really big. I don't know if you guys can tell like, but it's like half the size of this body. It, it exceeds the arm measurement by Yeah, we haven't forearm measured anything in a while, but... Yeah, it, it's, so this is about 18 inches here, and it's still going. So it's probably close to 20 inches, or 20, no, not 20, like 22, 23 inches, something like that. Yeah, so it, but we're going to paint it and clean it up, and it's going to be way cute, and it'll sell for about $40, because it's big, $39.95. Yeah. Um, somebody asked if I'll be selling these things online. I will not be selling them online currently, but eventually when we get caught up on our website, because we've been crazy busy, because we have a paintbrush sale going on that actually ends tomorrow, Sunday the 22nd, I think. Big pixie brushes. Um, they're 20% off, so we've been shipping a ton of paintbrushes. So when Ivy gets on top of all that, we are going to possibly start shipping smaller, unique items from the store, but we don't want to take that on until we've got everything else under control. All right, so this this is probably part of a little nativity or something. And Jamie, are we painting this apothecary? Yeah, it's gonna go apothecary. The rooster, I don't know what color it's gonna go. It's dark, so it'll either go white or apothecary. Um, because I think it'll look colors. better with the white. I think if we do like the apothecary, it'll look too Christmassy with the red coming through. Okay, so we'll paint it white. We'll wet distress it so some of the original detail and patina comes through and it will look amazing. Going white with this. Apothecary with this. It's got some stains and scratches and stuff. We're gonna freshen yeah. it up. I'm starting to pick things for Christmas um, when I found them that I like, and I actually probably need to check the closet in the back and see what I got, because yeah. I have a closet for Christmas. All right, bird All right. cage. This bird cage. It's so cute. It's pretty heavy duty. It does have paint chipping off on the bottom, so we'll scrape that off and then we'll repaint it. And then I don't know how much it is. Was there a price on the bottom? This one was not priced. I think they it? gave it to $2. us for $2. $2. Yeah. And it will sell for about $20, so about $19.95 in the shop. Yeah, and it'll it'll be, be... careful. I'm just bending it back to where it goes. It, it has, it's got some chippy paint on it already, so it's going to paint up great. When will I put Christmas in my store? Um, we're going to be starting now. Yeah. I'm still buying some fall things past September. I probably won't add any additional fall items starting in October. The only um, seasonal stuff I will buy is Christmas. So from now until October, if I see fall, I'll buy it. And then starting in October, I'll only buy Christmas till about um, beginning of November. And then at that point I won't, because usually, even though the season's still going, people have already decorated. So I try to not like have too much because then you get a lot of leftover inventory. I, that's what I do. I don't know if that's like what everybody else does, but that's kind of my jam. Yeah. Okay, so we've got this fun oh, chippy yeah, chair. Yeah, that chair. Can you hand it to me without yeah. looking? I can kind of got everything stacked. So I here. actually picked this up at the only antique store in Beaver, Utah, which is where the luncheon was today. Um, it was $8. It's chippy. Um, we will clean it up and then seal it. But, you know, you can't ever control chippy all the way. But amazingly enough, it's way sturdy. Yep, it's, I don't have to do really any repairs or anything to it. We're going to sit, someone spray painted on top of it and gave it this fun minty color. So we'll sand that a little bit. And is it, I'm what's gonna, that stuff we have at home? Like the stop The chip peel stuff, stop. That's peel what I stop. like to use. Yeah, and it's funny, this color that's underneath here is totally aviary. Like this green coming through. And when I was talking to Debbie, when I was coming up with the aviary color, do you guys see that? She's like, what do you mean farmhouse green? I'm like, you know, like. Farmhouse green, and then today I found a chair that was totally farmhouse green. Yeah, it's 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 been out in the weather, and it's already got that good chippiness. Yeah, for oh, sure. So that chair will sell for about twenty four dollars, as is. You want to show them your office chair. supply paper file? Oh yeah, 
Anytime we can, we, we pick up shipping supplies and office supplies from the thrift store because it was $2 for this big roll of paper that would probably be more like 10 down at Retail the Retail value $10 and we pay two. Yeah. And it's a nice, like, manageable amount. So, Ivy, if you're watching this, I bought you some paper. <laughs> She's my shipping girl. She's amazing. All right. Oh, Ivy is watching. She just commented. She said Aviary is amazing. Did we miss a comment? Megan Larson Music? Is there something we should catch? Oh. Oh, no. Nope. It's okay. Um, Vintage Sin, which is Cindy, said, I did apothecary over red stools and distressed, and it looks so good. Doesn't look like Christmas, but old farmhouse. Yeah. I agree. Well, you just said we couldn't paint that apothecary because it looked like Christmas. Well, you know, you can get it like that, but I don't know. I think we'd sell it better. Uh, okay. Although we're coming up on Christmas. Yeah, so red and green's not the other world. Oh, also, look, hold on. We got this basket. Oh, yeah, we've been using it to hold it. We got a new iPad. iPad because we took the kids' iPad and used it for our square, and so we've been down to one. And we um, are getting the new iPhone 11s, and when you get those, you got, like, a smoking deal on iPads, so we don't have a case for it yet. So I'm using this lovely basket that was $1.50. So I'm excited like about the, the iPhone 11s because the camera on there, I think I can go to almost doing dedicated filming with that because we were looking at getting a new camera for filming for YouTube and I may just skip that and see how good this phone does and because it's the camera is incredible. Yeah. So I'm excited. Watch um, out for that. It films in 4K so we might do 4K videos. Rachel, the non-toxic stain that we use is, uh, we used to use real stain, we don't sell that anymore. We use dark and decrepit, which is like a dark walnut color and then we also have the old and gray which gives you a weathered barn wood look. Both of those have uh, built-in sealers. If you're using them on stair treads for your stairs, I would add a little bit more sealer over the top of it. But for shelves, I would just use the product straight up and then don't worry about sealing over the top of it. I'm gonna hold this in the background and move the chicken. So this was, hold on, I need to hold my phone because Caitlin texted me today. I was not here when it got dropped off. And then... So, disclaimer, we are not a uh, thrift store accepting donations, but when people drop off cool stuff, we'll take it. <laughs> yeah, well, we always like, we usually will look at it first or people text us. Caitlin was here and it, somebody was on their way to d drop it off anyway, so they sent it here, but let's see, Caitlin. It's what? a cool shelf. It's, the sh the drawers aren't functional, but they've got these big um, cast oh. iron knobs on them that are for like hanging stuff or coats or it's like a coat rack. I don't think anybody's going to hang quotes on them. I think that that's probably something that somebody would put like in lieu of a mantle or in a front entryway. Stuff is t I would, you know, if you put this in the entryway, you would I would totally hang stuff. I on. would have like all my stuff hanging off but of this. But that's what it's for. They're just, they're <laughs> supposed to look like drawers, sweetie. I know, but they're big and heavy and sturdy. I would hang stuff on this like every time. So this was dropped off by Susan Boyle. So if you're watching, Susan, tell us what you used it for and then we'll end that discussion. <laughs> uh, Susan also dropped off a really awesome nightstand, which is great because you guys, this week we have sold so much furniture out of the store. We have sold chairs. We have sold the spool that we did. We sold the buffet that we had forever, the one with the mirror on the back. We sold... Um, side tables and uh, so much stuff that we've got to get furniture painted and in the shop and we didn't have a ton of furniture anyways so I'm super excited about that and the funny thing is I was just telling somebody the other day that like mostly just smalls were selling and in the last few days furniture has been just selling like crazy we also sold a dresser I think we sold probably half a dozen furniture pieces which for us we sell more small so half a dozen furniture pieces in a week is pretty pretty good yeah um, we're gonna go flying guys because we've got some stuff here. This little table, whoop, I'm gonna knock the mannequin over behind me, was $15. I can't see it. Can you see it okay, Jamie? Am I showing it off good? Um, yeah, you are. Just go down, show them the little. It was $15. It's, we it's bought it for the legs. And it's framed out on the top like a picture frame. It's really cool. Yeah, that style was really popular. I think it was made by possibly Lane or Ashley Furniture mm -hmm. in the 90s. So you can find them a lot. And um, that was $12. We'll sell it for about 40 painted or more, maybe 49 And then we have this. It's like a nightstand small dresser. It's pretty big. Yep, that this came, was also from Susan? Yeah, that also came from Susan, and that will sell for probably about $70 to $80. It's got these really cool bun feet on it. Yeah, the feet are really cute. The knobs are a little bit modern, so I think I might take those off. 
and replace them with maybe some cup pools. So Vintage Shin says, that's so good to hear you've sold so much. Agnes says, God's blessings today and always for your family and business. Thank you guys. Um, Lucy Lou, we have not sold the pink dress yet. Lots of interest, but the right person will come along and buy it. Like I said, we, we it's been slow for furniture for months. Like, I think we've had that buffet probably like a year. Yeah, we've had it a long Pretty time. And it's that. painted. It's off the top of my head. Sorry. That's okay. You can show the rest of the chairs. I'll be quiet now. So we've noise. got these cool chairs that probably had cane seating in the center. Are we going to, what, what are the plans with the seating? Because look at this, they got these faces carved So, on. I know, they're really fun. So, I'm thinking if you will cut me a board, I can put some foam on it and just upholster it, and then we'll screw it from underneath. Originally, I would have had cane seating, but to have those recaned would be pretty expensive. Oh, so kind of do like our dining room chair is with like a little lip of wood around and then a padded cushion? Yeah, but probably not that big. I'm just going to do a little square to cover up what's there. Okay. And I might use like a little grain sack or something on it. Yeah, I'll just take the jigsaw and make like a cardboard pattern and cut that around so we have enough to staple it on. Yeah, just a little plywood and then I can put some foam and batting and upholster it. Now they are missing some dowels, so I'll have to go to Home Depot this week and get some dowels. What size do you think those dowels are? They look like half inch. Oh, Dina's on here. Hey, Dina, she's late, but she made it. But we got two of those. Who dropped those off? Someone else dropped those off what? for us. These, oh, I don't they? know. I wasn't here when they dropped them off and they didn't get a name. So if you drop those off, thank you. These chairs are way cute. They're smaller in stature. Yeah, they're very and, old. Um, they're pretty old. So I'm super excited about that. And honestly, even if I didn't do the seats in them, these would make amazing planter chairs. So you could take and put it like a pot in them and plant the chairs. So if Zeb never gets around to cutting me some stuff, I'll put a plant in them. We'll call it good. <laughs> I'll get around to it eventually. It's. I told it's, you I want a day next week, not next week, but maybe the week after. I need to. I gotta. Break. I gotta do like. I gotta take a, a break on house or uh, shop stuff and really go crazy on the house because yeah. we got some stuff we gotta get done. I guess we probably are painting those chairs. They're pretty worse for wear. So we don't have all of our chairs painted in the shop. We have a mix of antique and painted chairs. So these are just bar stools. But they're cool. Because they swivel. They're kind of lower bar stools. So they're probably just counter height. They're as, well, they're as tall as this bar stool over here. So they're counter height bar stools. There's three of them, and they're way cute, and they're solid wood. And anytime you can find three bar stools, they always sell really well. Yeah, those are oak. And then we have, we also got these this week. Yeah. You didn't thrift these. You found these on Marketplace, Facebook right? Facebook Marketplace. I picked up six of them for $10 each. I don't. Um, do like a single chair on marketplace because not, not really worth my time But when I can pick up six chairs for ten dollars each that is a good thing because we sell them for 40 So that means I'm going to take that $60 and I'm going to turn it into $240 once they're all painted and I sell them individually and we do mix match chairs stuff Can they see out that window? Can you show them the chairs? We're starting a little chair uh, I, They're gonna get mostly glare from the window. Okay, I think see if, see if I'll see if we can see the colors. Can you guys what do you see on the iPad? Okay, hold on. Yeah, you can see them out there. Oh, okay. Sorry, but I almost dropped the camera. So we have this covered porch area that is protected from the elements, and I really want people to notice the shop. So we're slowly but surely painting these chairs, and we've got two already done, and then we've got um, a couple that are a different style out there. One's Salty Kiss, one's Farm Fresh, but I want kind of brighter chairs out there to draw interest in. There'll be some pastels. Um, we actually painted a bright yellow chair and we've got a mermaid tail chair in the back. So we're painting them all up and we're going to put them out there because they just thought it'd be cute and draw attention to the shop. And we leave them out there all the time. We don't really worry about those chairs getting taken. We've never actually had one stolen. Now that I said that, it might happen, but you know, people that are looking to boost some chairs, aren't, aren't, they're not really uh, coming around. You know what? We have cameras, so we'll find them. If you steal my chairs, I will know. We actually went, this is just a, a, like, we're not a paid advertisement. We went with Vivid. That's the security system that we have at home. We have it at the shop. We've got cameras all around the outside, motion sensors. So it's pretty awesome and helps keep our stuff protected. And it's fun when we're not here. We like to watch the shop. 
we get notifications when people come in the door and when people buy stuff. So sometimes I like to be like, oh, what do they buy? And then I can like watch the transaction if I want to watch the replay. And then I can like see what, uh, what they bought. It's exciting to me. Like when people buy my junk, it's like people have adopted some of my stuff and I love that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get to- We're gonna stencil. Stuff. You wanna paint first or stencil stuff first? Do we need to make a sign? Um, I'm going to have you stencil this. This one we're probably gonna save for later if we have time. This is just if all of our retailers, when they put their first order in, get a JRB stencil, re, um, stencil so they can make a sign. It's kind of fun. And you I may have this. to get a shorter chair because you're like. No, I'll just. I'll just crouch down. I'm not that tall. <laughs> She's sitting on one of those stools. Um. Anyways, we need a sign for the stencil display, so we're gonna work on that in a little bit. Let's show them the Christmas stencils. Yeah. Yep. Okay. You guys ready for Christmas stencils? We've already sold a ton of these. So they are on the website now, jamierayvintage.com, or you can pick them up from one of our over 40 retailers, which is super exciting. Um, and then we also have the Paint Pixie brushes on sale for 20% off until tomorrow, which is the 22nd of September, 2019 at midnight. So if you haven't picked up the new Christmas stencils or got your uh, Paint Pixies on sale, do that. Don't forget. So these are the first little pack we're gonna open. Should we like show it to them on top of, why is that chicken there? They want us to paint it. Oh, I But it's know. dirty, I need to wipe it down. Do they want, well I'll show, I'll do that. Do you guys wanna see the stencils or do you wanna see the chicken getting painted? Weigh in. You wanna see the stencils? <laughs> can they see them on here if you do it like that? Yeah, you can, I'll, I'll hold it up. I'll okay, try so to... this is uh, the mini, Caitlin probably knows the names of these better than I am. This is the mini Christmas pack and it comes with eight little Christmas Stencils. I can only do three at a time. Okay, let me show them that. So it has a little reindeer, a Santa, and a snowflake. Also a Christmas tree. You want to show them those? We'll stencil in a minute so you guys can see those. Yeah, we'll stencil some. I feel like we can do this with a little Christmas oh, they, tree. They all want both, stencils and the okay, chicken. Okay, we'll get the chicken. We got a little baby Jesus. Um, a star of Bethlehem. A cute little snowman and a candy cane. If I was only going to get one stencil set, I think this one might be it. She can do a lot of different things with it. Yeah. I feel like I'm going to sneeze. Hold on. Ooh. I know you get all sniffly. It's because I blew some dust off this chicken. I got to oh, wash this it. This is so cute. It's like a little um, reindeer grain sack style. Hold on. Um, all right. I've seen some reindeer feed grain sacks, and I, I thought they were really cute. So I created a stencil that looks like the reindeer feed. Let me show you that one. You guys see that? Look how cute that is. That one I love. This one's so cute. It would be cute on drop cloth or just made as a sign. All right, Zeb left me here, so you get just Jamie. Okay, next. Like these just came in the mail yesterday, so I'm excited. This one says Merry Christmas with some holly. That one's kind of fun. I had to get a pad for offloading. Okay. Which one is this one? Oh, this one is, oh, come let us adore him. We're gonna get that out. Okay. Oh, I like the style on that one a lot. Yeah, I thought you might. This is a little kind of old school style. I always see the proofs that you show me, like your original designs, and then it's fun to see what they actually turn out looking well, like. Well, if anybody saw my original design, they'd be like, that girl can't, well, you know what, let's do this Noel one on the square. Okay, length. I'll do that right now. We here. already have these pieces of wood painted in little black dress. So that way we don't have to wait for them to dry. Noel, so I'm just gonna do that one because that fits on there. Is that okay, sweetie? Oh, um, you need the little C and I you have need it. Vintage, some vintage linen. There's vintage just a little bit left. Vintage linen. All right, do we, did you grab any tape or do I need to go grab that? No, you need tape? I don't usually, but I shifted a bit last time around. Oh, there's packing tape in the other room and these are really cured, so you can just use packing tape. All right. It won't take the paint off. This one's fun. This one, I always think of Miss Debbie Beard from DIY Paint when I do these stencils that are this style. This is the uh, Farm Fresh Christmas Tree Old Truck. That's a classic, gotta have one of those every year. And then it says Merry Christmas, and then it has pine, spruce, fir, kind of like something you'd see at an old tree farm, you which I like. sit down and show them though, so that they can see. Oh, them. well they don't wanna <laughs> see me, they wanna see the stencil. You always hold it up. There you go, there's that one. I, I had to like pace myself and not design 52 stencils. We gotta have, you gotta leave something in the, the bank for next year. Yeah, in the, in the well. I actually have some fun ideas already for January. I've been talking to my manufacturer about them. Okay, so this one is fun. 
This says old fashioned, oh, it's backwards. This is my cocoa stencil. It says old fashioned, can you guys see that one? Oh, thanks Dina, super chat, because we're the best, I love you Dina. So this one says hot cocoa, 50 cents. Love that one. Okay, we're almost done. Now this one is fun because I hadn't even thought of this idea. And I can't remember who it was, so if it was you, please comment. Um, I was asked to create a countdown stencil, number of days to Christmas, and that's what this one is. So it's kind of like a little um, snow globe. It's got like the circle on little snowflakes. It says countdown to Christmas. Can you guys see that? Sorry, it's kind of a weird angle. And you can use it, make a chalkboard, and then you can just change the, the numbers on there. Yeah. So I thought that was you. Or you could put a little hook. Kind of like a little advent. Uh-huh. And you can put a little hook on there and put those little um, wood, sorry, I keep standing up. You can put the little wood tags, which would also be cute. If you didn't want to do chalk, I think the tags would be fun because then every day you could just put a new tag on there with the number of days till Christmas. So Jack will be excited about that one. He loves anything countdown. He loves counting. Like he asked, he wanted a math game for the iPad. He's like, dad, I need a math game. Yeah, he also likes to read, when we're on car trips, he likes to read to us how many miles it is to where we're going. When I was a kid, you had to say, are we there yet? Are we there yet? And you had to read the mile markers. Now kids just look at the navigation. This one's fun. It says, ba -la 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 -la. and then it has Christmas trees and a heart. So I just thought that was fun, little, little Christmas song one. Can you guys see that fa -la, la And the fun thing is when you get these stencils, don't think that you can only use a certain portion. Like if you buy this one, you can use the Christmas tree or you can use just the snowflakes and you can do a bunch of different things with them. All right. So this is the little C stencil brush that you can get at jamierayvintage.com. If you're watching this before Sunday the 22nd, they're on sale right now. So if you've wanted a stencil brush, All right. it's great. All right, we're almost done guys. So this is uh, the Santa one and it says, and to all a good night. Can you guys see that? It's super cute. It says and to all a good night with some um, snow or stars down here because he's in the sky and then Santa and his reindeer. They're cute little reindeer noses. It makes me excited for Christmas. He's I'm like, not really into Christmas shopping much. I'm an Amazon girl or I buy everything. Zeb and I go out on Black Friday and whatever we don't get on Black Friday is ordered on Amazon. Or we thrift it. We thrift a lot of things. Well, a lot of times, do. like the last couple of years, I've been making a lot of stuff. Yeah, we make a lot of Christmas stuff. All right, so last but not least, this is a Farm Crip Fresh Christmas Trees. Um, it says free cocoa and cider, cut and carry. Um, the, I've seen a lot of these cute little farmhouse signs, so I wanted to make one so you guys could recreate that. So there you go. Well, they all have fun little elements like this wreath. On here, if you didn't want it to say Noel, you could just leave a wreath and do something in the center. Yeah, you could use our lowercase letters and you can make that say joy or peace or anything in there, or you can use the IOD stamps. Yeah, the IOD stamps actually, the lowercase IOD stamps would fit really yeah, well. Yeah, and I love the holly on this. You guys are gonna, you're gonna see that in a second. Yeah, I'll give you, I'll bring it up and give you the reveal. Now it just looks like a bunch of blob of paint. Oh, there goes the thing. If you guys are commenting, I missed it. Okay. Uh, Deb's Oregon says, ha, me too, Jamie. I only keep a Kohl's card for Christmas, shop online for four grandchildren. Then that and Amazon is my BF. And Jana says, bravo on the design. Thank you. You know, it's funny is I hadn't even thought about getting Christmas done so early, but I'm glad I did because it took my, we went back and forth with my manufacturer. Oh, I forgot one. We went back and forth on the designs for a while. So I'm glad that I started early so that way we could get them done. All right. Focus up camera, let's do this. Ta-da, that's pretty. All right, we got one more. So that would be fun like with a green background or, or a, a red background with green leaves or like mixing the colors up. Yeah, for sure. And I knew I keep getting answered, I keep saying a couple weeks, a couple weeks, a couple weeks on stencil brushes, but really I think we are down to a couple weeks, hopefully the beginning of October the end of September, we will have our stencil brushes. So we've, I, those of you that don't know, we're actually coming out with Paint Pixie is making us our own JRV stencil brushes. We're excited. All right, so one more, and I actually really like this one. It's probably something I might actually leave up year round. It says wise men still seek him, and it has the three wise men. So that's the last one. Okay, 
Do you want to do another? I feel like my board is crooked, or I'm. You, yeah, you it, you were a little. I was a little off on my centering. Well, this is just a little bit bigger over there, so I think it's actually okay. I think we probably just need to like cut that. My board is not square. That's oh, the is problem. that what the problem is? Yeah, it, it, it jogs down over <laughs> this way. Well, Take that back to the miter saw. Sample board. All right, we got another one here. Is this one square? Yeah, it's good enough. <laughs> All right, which one should we do on that one? And then I really want to do the Christmas tree one. I love the Christmas tree signs. I okay. think they're cool. All right, we'll do the Christmas tree one. Well, remember I did the, uh, oh, I should have saved my tape. I did the uh, the stool last year. We can do the wise men still see. With the one. Christmas tree truck. This one's really cute too. The stool, we, so if you guys are looking for Christmas videos, we have a playlist called Holiday Crafts. And I try to keep all of the holiday type videos in there and that way they're easier to find and we probably have I mean this is our fourth year doing YouTube now so we probably have a good 10 or 15 maybe even 20 videos just on Christmas crafts in there so if you want to find a video if you're ready to start now and want some ideas and are not able to wait for us you got craft shows coming up or something before yeah. we get our Christmas stuff out you can go check those out Everything's a little delayed this year, but definitely we have a ton of videos and our retailers have been able to order these. They probably do not have them yet, but they are going to be shipping. So if you're interested in the Christmas stencils and you find a local retailer, just contact them and let them know you're interested and they can let you know if they have them in yet. So I'm excited about that. And Zeb's gonna get that done. I'm gonna paint that chicken because people are dying. They've gotta see painted. the chicken painted. So I was gonna paint the cat pink, but the chicken, the people have spoken, and so apothecary chicken it is. You know, you paint, you, there's some wipes right over there. I do, I, that's why I thought the, oh, gotcha. I thought the wipes. It's, it's just, I don't think it, I thought it was greasy initially down on the base, but it's just dusty, like it's been sitting in the top of someone's garage shelf forever and ever. I'm kind of sad, I wish we had another board ready, because then I would show them the little mini Christmas stencils. Um, where's that one board? That you wanted to do the sign, or do you want to save that for our stencil signs? Yeah, I do because it's the right. Well, we can do that. It's a little oversized, I think. Yeah, we'll make a different one for that one. Let's do all the mini Christmas ones on here just so they can get an idea of what it looks like. And we yeah. like to leave these black and white. You can do color on them, that adds a lot of fun and, and interest to them, but we find that the black and white signs still sell really well, even well, for most just, holidays. It fits my design aesthetic, it makes them all kind of farmhousey, and I like to have them all. A unique, like a similar look because I put them all on the same wall usually. We have a wall in the hallway that we are hanging up all of our signs on. Yeah. So. How much do we sell these signs for? Is it $20, $19.95? Um, $19.95. Because I frame them out in cedar and you can hang them. Yeah. So. $19.95. Let's see. Vintage Shen says apothecary, so I guess I'm going to have to do that. Oh. Um, Are we going Christmassy apothecary on the red chicken? Yeah, I think so. I mean, worst case scenario, I'll just paint it white later. Honestly, I think if you were going to make it like a Christmassy theme, I'd do the aviary. Which one is a good detail stencil brush, or is that coming in the JRB brushes? Yeah, so we're yeah. using the little C, which I like for an all-over stencil brush, but the JRB stencil brushes are going to have um, smaller sizes made for detail. Yeah, so like if you just wanted to do like the F a different color on this free cocoa and cider or whatever you were doing or a berry on the, the holly, you could do that just red really easily with the, one of the brushes we've got. It's really small and detailed. This thing is super dusty, so I'm wiping it off before I paint it. This probably looks like a different color now that it's been washed. That what happens is a lot of this decor winds up sitting on someone's shelf before they take it to the thrift store. And then they drop it off, but obviously they don't dust it before they give it away. So usually it's just pretty dusty. Yeah, we spend a lot of time cleaning thrift store finds. If they deep fry food a lot, it's pretty greasy. And then we gotta get the Dawn out. Sometimes I have to put it inside the yeah, shower. Yeah, it's been living on top of the kitchen cupboards or the, or the counter for decor. Yeah. Thank you guys for all your kind words about my stencil collection. I know not everybody's into stencils, but just wanted to show those off because they're fun and I have loved creating them. Um, let's see, where's the pop okay. Oh, I'm wearing my new, somebody was asking about merch. The stencils aren't really merch. We just, they're a line that we've created that we have retailers with too. But I am wearing some merch. 
So this is our new bomber jacket. Caitlin got it up on the website. Some chicken so they can see it. <laughs> it says I love junk and on the back it says Jamie Ray Vintage. So the ones that you can get are, the Jamie Ray Vintage is much bigger. This was a test one. Yeah, this was, I always get the test runs. So I'm gonna take this off so I don't get paint on it, but it's pretty comfy. I always, everything that we sell online, I always try it out first. So I've been wearing this for about a week. I think I do, I didn't unzip it all the way. Okay, give me, give me that chicken back. All right, you ready for the chicken? Yeah, hold on. Right. I'm having a wardrobe malfunction, so I'm gonna come over here. I think you've been wearing that since uh, we left Cedar. Uh, I've been wearing this shirt since 3.30 this morning, except for like the two hours I was wearing a dress. So, all right, shirt fixed, and I'm back. Okay, let's go in apothecary. This is leftover from our sign. If you guys have watched that sign video, let us know in the comments. That was kind of fun. Can you open that for me? Maybe. Bok, 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 Shelly says. They're red. No, not green for the chicken. Paint it white the first time. Why make extra work? Because I might like it in pop care. It'll sell. We sold, we, we sold. I'm doing one it. One of the dogs, one of the dogs is gone. Yeah, you guys, did you guys remember the dogs that we painted? Heidi came in and bought it. But don't worry, Cindy, Yoda dog is still here. The Chihuahua. Chihuahua. The thing is, this red is like a brick red. It's not like a Christmas red. So. Oh, I dropped my brush in the, the can of paint. Like a very dark barn red. It's kind of weird to paint like this, this direction. I think it's gonna be pretty cool. You know what I think I'm gonna do? I'm gonna paint the rooster or the chicken apothecary. I'm gonna paint the base white. Are you gonna paint this whole thing white? Yeah, I'm gonna, from here down, it's gonna be white. That'll be cool. Yeah, I think it'd be fun to two tone that. And then I'll use white wax on the chicken to kind of tie it all in together. And when I'm painting stuff like this, I'm never worried about full coverage because you know I'm gonna be distressing it, so. We pull that back. One of my employees, Kathy, if she's watching, she goes, do you distress everything? And I'm like, yup. Yeah. It's kind of my jam. My, I have such fun employees. They've done such an amazing job. They've been painting stuff, helping me paint chairs, and getting a lot of smalls done for the shop. It's been fun to work There's with. There's the, uh, the Farm Fresh Christmas Trees sign. Nice. That's cute. Good job. Came out good. And the other thing you can do with these stencils is you can buy blank pillowcases and then use the DIY paint and little black dress and you can actually stencil your own pillowcases, which is really fun. And I am gonna be doing some for the shop here in a little bit for fall and I'll probably make some Christmas ones too. I've got a bunch of pillowcases waiting for my, my stencils. Well, how much are they when you get them from Ikea? They're like $6 for the um, pillowcase? $4 for or five for the pillowcase and I buy the down inserts, they're about six and then I stencil them and I sell them for 30. 20, 25 to 30. Well, they're big, they're big uh, yep. pillows. Um, let's see, this uh, chicken was originally $15 and it will sell for 40. Crazy thing, that chicken was as much as this little coffee table end table thing that we showed the black one earlier. But it's not gonna be as much work to paint either and end table's gonna be more work. Yeah. I gotta paint underneath the chicken's situation. All right, doing the wise men still seek him. Like I said, I'm not gonna worry about full coverage because I'm gonna come back in wet the stress and put some white wax on this chicken. You know what's funny is that we tried to mix a color for our sign <laughs> instead of just using apothecary, and then the color was totally blue. And then we're like, well, let's try apothecary, and it's like almost an exact match of our logo color on our Jamie Ray Vintage logo, so. And we, we've had that logo maybe like, ten, nine, 10 years now. Yeah, we've had a logo. And people probably. always ask us, like, why is it only Jamie Ray Vintage? They're all, it's almost like they're offended that my name's not well, on Ray there. Well, Ray is your last name. <laughs> I took your last name 18 but, years But, so the reason we, we A, we didn't want to rebrand the company, and B, it's been Jamie Ray Vintage for a long time before I ever jumped on board and even when Jamie was starting it, I didn't, I think I helped her out a little bit when she first started, but not much. I mean, I was working. If I had to market a little bit, but when I would do entire dining tables and you didn't, they were like yeah. painted and sold before you even got home. Yeah, like I would never even see them. She'd go pick them up, bring them home, finish them, 
and then uh, have them sold the next day. Dining table <laughs> sold really fast. Um, Jenny asked about the IKEA pillowcases. I use the Girly, G-U-R-L-I. If you watch our most recent IKEA haul, you'll see them in there. All right, I think I got those pretty well painted. I'm gonna do white. I'll just use this little brush here for the details. We do not have a lot of vintage linen, so hopefully it's enough to paint this. Okay, I'm gonna try to paint this way. I don't know if I can, I'm gonna have to do this at an angle. So you guys can see what I'm doing, but I can also paint it. I'm gonna move this cow. Oh, vintage sins that I always thought your logo was apothecary. Well, apparently it is. It's real close. With D DIY paint was not even a brainchild when our logo came out. Debbie was not even in the... I don't think Debbie was even doing YouTube then. Yeah, it's a little, little before Debbie's YouTube stuff. Yeah. Facebook was the thing. This is so cute. I'm actually glad I did this for a lot better. Oh, that is going to be cool. Can they see what you're doing there? Yeah, they can see what I'm doing. I put it at an angle. Good job. So let me see if I can hold them all at the same time. I don't know. All right, so we got three of them. How many is it? Are there 14 new stencils? I think there's a dozen. Can't learn how many new stencil sets are. Because one's a, well, if you count the individual mini Christmas stencils, there's more than that. So, how long have I? How long did that take to make three signs? I mean, I got to frame them still. That's gonna take about five minutes each. But you still have a bunch of Paul signs to frame. I know. I know. And our thank you sign. <laughs> the list. The list never really ends. Oh, Jessica says the two-tone chicken was a good idea. Good call. It looks so spendy. I, that's you know I try to have. I try to make my stuff look. Spendy, you know, like classy and spendy, a little farmhousey. Although, um, Zeb, can you grab me that uh, Duck Dynasty? <laughs> I I don't think I showed you guys this. Maybe I did. I don't it remember. It was from our pick when we went to Idaho. I bought a Duck Dynasty. I found out it was a Chia pet. Um, and Sai from Duck Dynasty got a little farmhouse paint job. We painted him in. I think it's old school with white wax, if yeah. I remember correctly. It was a dollar, and now it's on sale at Jamie Ray Vintage at the shop for four ninety five. So if anybody needs a, if you like side, you know you like we got us, you covered. If you like farmhouse and you like Duck Dynasty, we are probably the only place you're going to get a farmhouse side head. It was so mostly you know. cracking her up, so she just kept she went with it. I hope I got paint on me, and this is not a painter. I'm gonna have to wash that off later. But um, anyways, I I have a weird sense of humor. I buy odd things. And I like people to come to the shop and be like, oh, that's different. I've never seen that before. And sometimes people bring their husbands, okay? And I'm sure there's some husband that's going to come in that likes Deck Dynasty and like his farm likes, his wife likes farmhouse. And that is going to be something they can both agree on. And it totally doesn't clash because I painted it to match the shop. Let's see. Um, Royanna says your sign is amazing and it was good that you used your CNC machine. Yeah, so that probably... So a lot of people have asked us what we would have paid for that or what we would sell that for. I'm not going to really, we're not in the sign making business. Uh, that took a Let's lot to honest, program it's not that. Perfect, so I wouldn't want to make it for something yeah, else. And it's good enough for me. So my CNC machine isn't big enough to cut it in one big piece. So it has seams. So I had to, I had to break it apart, but it probably saved us about a thousand to $1,500 because it's, it's almost six feet by six feet. In, in, uh, in the diameter, so yeah, it's, it's awesome. Big. It looks good, and you know what? Most people aren't coming up close to inspect anyway. It's from the street, it looks amazing. Yeah, uh, let's see. Is Jamie's last name Ray, her maiden name? So Ray is Zeb's name, and I took it. Yeah, Ray's my last name. I went from Harrington, which is my son's name now, but that was my maiden name, to Ray. Let's see. Um, Driving the red farm truck, that's funny. Um, <laughs> uh, let's see, stencils and chicken. Dina likes it. Okay. Just making sure I'm not missing anything. I'm trying to get these done quick because there's, there's there's a bunch of this little pack. I don't know if I'm gonna be all able right, to fit I them all on this board. Okay, Tom says Harrington is one of her family names. Maybe we're related. We're from the West Virginia. That's where my dad's family's from. 
I mean, he never lived there, and my grandma and grandpa never lived there, but that's where their family... Your dad's from Michigan. My dad is from Michigan. That's where he grew up. But he's lived in Arizona most of his life. Yeah, he moved. Hi, guys. How do you know what pricing's at? So, I just kind of know what things will sell for. It's been a lot. We've been doing this quite a while now in various markets and selling on Facebook in our area. And we've had a shop space for over two years, and... We've only been shop owners for three weeks, two weeks, two weeks. We've so been we're open. basically professionals now because we've been doing it for three weeks. But I, I guess what I'm saying is we've been doing lots of selling for a long time. Yeah. And we've got a real good handle on what we'll sell in our area. Um, so you just kind of got to get a feel for it and see, like ask local artisans and things because every area is different. If you're in the Salt Lake area, then all these prices we've been listing, you'd be spot on. Yeah, well, and I also, you know, sold some, and some stuff I'm just taking a shot in the dark. I like to four times my money if I paint something. Um, if it's a bigger item, obviously you're not going to be able to do that. And if I'm not um, painting it, I at least want to get double, but usually I'll get triple what I paid for it. If it's something I really love and I know will sell fast, I'm okay with just doubling my money. Because you never know when you're going to have to mark it down. So just because I say I make two, three, four times on something... That doesn't include uh, insurance and taxes and all the things that I have to um, take care of for my shop. So you want to make sure there's plenty of profit margin. Okay. Can you wash the DIY paint on pillowcases? Yes. Um, you got to be careful. But what you need to do if you've used DIY paint is you're going to wait 24 hours and then you're going to heat set it. And then probably don't wash it for a good 30 days. That's what I would wait for. And then, yeah, I have something I painted years ago, and it's still holding up. I stenciled it. No, sorry, I'm trying to get all the detail in here. I really do got to get a lot of stuff done for the shop this week. Yeah, we, uh, we've had a couple good Saturdays in a row and haven't caught up. Okay, so the brush that I'm using is the Little Frenchie. I do sell it, and it is part of the Paint Pixie brushes on sale. It's a little bit smaller than the French Round. That's why it's called the Little Frenchie. And it's good for detail work. This right here is the Paint Pixie Synthetic. And this, the thing about synthetic brushes is they, um, you get a little bit smoother finish. And it's really just personal preference. I use both interchangeably. So Josie called me out on that. She's like, I think that, the, uh, that it's the other way around. Because I was like, I like the synthetic, or uh, I like the uh, natural for blending. And she's like, I think I like the synthetic better for blending. Really? I just like I'm them. like, then I guess it's just how you like it. Yeah, I think it's a lot of personal preference. That's why I carry everything because I have some people that swear by the synthetic and some people that swear by the natural bristle. Josie is the owner of Paint Pixie Brushes, in yeah. case you're wondering. Yeah, definitely follow her. She's super cute. We're going to, she's coming to France with us. Alright, and I am going to distress this chicken. I don't know that it'll be dry in time to do it, but it will get distressed and white wax. you're painting guys make sure that you come back before it dries and straighten out your brush stroke especially if you're like me and you paint things a little cattywampus all right so Caitlin you will know better than I because we just put this on the website how much is this set drop us a link below if you're still watching please and look at all the stencils you get in that one set that's so cute oh I smeared with my finger underneath the candy can we can touch it up and the, if you get some small, um, smaller pieces and you want to stencil them, these mini stencils are great for that. And that's kind of why I created them. Plus, wouldn't it be so cute just to make a set of mini signs? Yeah, just like little make, squares. Yeah, just little squares. Almost like right coaster now. size. Mm -hmm. Oh, you could make coasters. Well, they'd be kind of big for coasters. But uh, I don't know. You got a good size mug. You don't need to frame a coaster. You just leave it wood and paint the edges. Anyway. They're fun. They're they're just the right size to add little accents oh, and so things. So those are sixteen ninety five for that set of eight. And the nice thing about Jamie Ray Vintage stencils is they're really thick. Um, I created them that way because I know a lot of people that use them are using them over and over again to make product to sell or for gifts for Christmas. They are using them over and over. So okay. Sometimes when I distress, I use water, and sometimes when I distress, I use wet wipes. <laughs> Because sometimes we don't have time to wash rags. Is that apothecary you have there? What? Oh no, we're going, we're going uh, petticoat pink. You gonna paint the kitty? I'm painting the cat. Are I'm gonna do it, guys. We've been on over an hour. That's all right. Let's see how many. It's okay. People... We're not tired. 
980 people watching. Share oh, this out to your friends. Let's, let's see if we, we can, can break a thousand. A thousand people, guys. I'll stay on. I'll stay on for a little while. We'll stay on longer. until there's a thousand. All right. If you want to know how to share, if you hit that little share button, you can copy and paste and you can stick it on. It's the arrow with the swoop. Yep. Yeah. So this is the Joy Brush. We've been using these little Joy Brushes a lot. They are actually great. They hold quite a bit of paint and really do well with details. If you've got really small, tight details, the, the French Round is still going to be your go-to brush, but this has been kind of like a nice middle ground on that. It said to paint the cat apothecary to match the dog. That's what you said. But I wanted it pink. I just saw that cat and it looked like a pink cat to me. I will get it painted pink and then oh, we'll Oh, thanks, Shelly. Thanks for sharing. Oh, awesome. Thank you. We'll bring the dog, we'll bring the dogs over to hang out with the pink cat. They can be friends. And we'll see what they look like together. Alright. Now people always say we paint a lot of stuff white, but I was looking through the shop today and there's only like a couple of pieces and then uh, some little accent pieces. We've you know why there's not up. much white in the store? Because it sells. Because it sells! <laughs> we sold a ton of white candlesticks. I gotta go find some more and get them painted white. I might just out. have to break down and make you some. We might, before the grand opening, if I get time, might make a special JRV Lehigh Candlestick, candlestick that's that only sold here. here in the shop. And maybe a set of Lehigh four bowls that you can only get here. Yep. Well, I might have to do that too. We'll see because, man, that's... I know we have a lot going on. <laughs> you know, we're like, oh, you know, we just got to get past building the house and things will calm down. <laughs> we're always moving on to something else. Yeah, but there are times, like the last few weeks have been super busy, but last, this last week was less busy than the weeks before. I mean, it was yeah. still pretty insane. This is still a little bit wet, but I'm just gonna show you guys how I wet distress with a little wet wipe. I'm just gonna bring out the detail. Is that coming? Yeah, it's still kind of wet. We I was just checking to see how many we were up. We lost a few. Oh, we lost a few. <laughs> we're like, let's stay till we get a thousand, Zeb. You really- We've been on too long. Let's not make promises. We still gotta go to the grocery store. Yeah, we, we don't have any groceries for the- <laughs> For dinner tomorrow. <laughs> I should have ordered some this week and I never got around to it. Well, we have groceries. There's lots of food in the yeah. house. We're just out of stuff like milk and eggs, no tomatoes. We're out of tomatoes and bananas, so basically the world's gonna come to an end. I can't live without Alright, I'm gonna show you guys. Things. I don't think it looks like Christmas at all. It's still a little wet. Can you guys see the distress on that that's starting to come through? So I'll distress that and white wax the top. How many would paint apothecary dogs? Oh, I guess she's asking other people how many would paint dogs apothecary. I feel like you can paint anything and make a farmhouse, even a duck dynasty situation. All right, so this wrought iron is really easy to distress. This actually dried quick. Let's get some of that detail coming through. Oh, that's wet down there. That's not gonna work. We gotta get our. Uh, so I don't know if distressing this. Cat will do much because it's white. It's white, creamy white underneath. And you're so not I was planning really on just it. white waxing it because I feel like the white will give it a good um, contrast. But that cat is so darn cute, pink. Yep. Some some little girl's probably gonna love this. All right. Let's see what it's we got go here. In her room. How many people do we have? Although our daughter Eliza, she does not like pink. She's like, Dad, don't give me that. It's nine hundred and eighty-five. We oh. need fifteen more people. Anybody got some friends? Send them a text message. All right. <laughs> I know it's late over if you're like East Coast or out of the country. It's getting late. Maybe food more important. Maybe food is totally. Well, the grocery important. stores, you know, they're open till like midnight, so we're good. We can, we can make it. Um, let's see. Tomorrow's my sleep in day. I don't think I have any church meetings in the morning early before, so we're good. I mean, church meetings till next week. So my right, church meetings, we each like do volunteer type callings at churches and at our church, and so we have meetings every now and then. All right, uh, somebody said that they have a bunch of these cats in, I think it said Alabama. I missed it. Oh. So Alabama is where Zepp's mom lives. My mom lives in Alabama. Oh, and John my, said that. my dad. Yeah, <laughs> they live in Columbiana. Yeah, Columbiana is, they're not in they're Columbiana, not in but Canada. they're like, close. I mean. They're in the boondocks. They're, they're, it's kind of rural where they're at, so they're an hour out of Birmingham. Anna says she might lose friends if she texts. It's 11.45. Huh, yeah, maybe don't. <laughs> All right. I'm oh, just... thanks, Leslie, for sharing on Facebook. Add us to share. You just click it down below. It'll say share, click it, and then you'll hit copy, and then you can paste it to Facebook. 
I'm not I'm not super tech savvy as far as explaining goes. Caitlin's much better at tech support than me. Where are we at? How many people? Oh, Don says Columbia, and it's just 45 minutes from them. We have 971. We're losing people. I don't think we're gonna yeah, make it to a thousand. It's too late. <laughs> Everybody's like, we're tired. They're like, hurry up and paint that cat. We gotta go to bed. I, I put it over on Mariana the says she wants a chicken. This chicken is awesome. Alright, I'm gonna go. I, I mean, I shouldn't say that because that's maybe something. Can you face like the cat out myself, so they can I see? I think it. the chicken turned out amazing. I'm gonna go grab one of the dogs. Are you gonna show them the painted dog? Yeah. Alright. Angel says she's in bed watching. I would be too, man. I'm not a night owl. Alright, where's that? I haven't touched this in a few spots. Okay. So here's the dog. Look, Actually, somebody asked me if the Basset Hound was still available. They're and it friends. Is. Yeah, they look all right together. So, according to the crazy lamp lady and Sue from Sue Me, if you put it in a box, it's not hoarding, it's collecting and storing. <laughs> it's Uno box. Yoda had a cat. This actually isn't Yoda. This is a basset hound. We have Yoda, too. Yeah, we all have right. the Yoda Chihuahua dog over there still. Zoom in on Jamie just dressing the chicken. It's going to be so good. It's still wet, so I don't know. I guess... Here, I'll bring you guys close, and then we'll probably take off for the night and go grocery shopping. So all that this chicken is going to get after I distress it is some white wax and clear wax. So I'm going to clear wax the whole piece, and then I'm going to white wax just this piece. And if you look at the dogs that we'll show you in a second, you can see kind of what the white wax looks like. Oh, it's drier here. So I'm just bringing out that detail. And it's not like a bright red. So because this paint is not sealed yet, it's water soluble. This doesn't work with like acrylics and latex. But with this DIY paint that you can pick up at jamierayvintage.com. That's a very close camera. Um, you can wet distress it. There you go. Okay, show them the dog so they can see what it looks like. White wax. Can you guys see the white on this? That's what a pot the carry looks with white wax. So the chicken will look similar to that. Vintage Sin wants a Taco Bell dog, so hopefully it's still here when she comes. Because she'll be coming around the mountain when she comes. How many people we got? Nine, 968. No, they're dropping off. All right, guys, we tried to get to 1,000. Normally, we do hit 1,000 for our peak. Next time. week. Next week. All right, thanks for joining us. Be sure to hit up jamierayvintage.com for the paint and products we used today. And don't forget that our stencil sale ends tomorrow, 20% no, off. No brush sale. Needed. Brush oh, sale. I'm sorry, I'm so tired. Don't forget that our brush sale ends tomorrow 20 percent off no code needed only happens every six months so don't miss out and the new christmas stencils are up on the website and we will drop that retailer list below if you'd like to find a local jrv retailer near you all right guys bye guys thanks Love for you. tuning in and hanging out with us on a saturday night we will see you next week Woo -woo. <laughs>